Hello friends, thanks for many comments on my last video. Therefore, I prepared this guide and today I will show you how to create uh, this 3D uh, Virtual Studio. Uh, of course, I divide this tutorial to three parts. Today, I show you how to create this easy, I think, easy 3D construction. In next episode, we add uh, we add my friends shader and uh, shader and lights and in the third episode we add animation of course keyframes we create animation and we will create render so the first of course we create new document new composition my friends and now we create this object this object this floor okay it will be my floor so add shape 3d if you don't know where is shape 3d of, of course control space or you select tool 3d shape 3d shape 3d this uh, of course it will be my mm, floor so i add name f2 floor of course uh, floor i create from my friends i use cylinder cylinder and now we change parameters so maybe uh, in this place my friends check on lights okay check on lights so um, parameters radius 10 height maybe 2 is okay base subdivision uh, i set maybe 50 and height subdivision maybe 2 of course uh, in this case you need to select caps bottom and top and this is my floor okay this is my floor now i add new shape and now we create my friends maybe ceiling okay this element this if of course this is copy this element so Control c Control v this is my ceiling okay i connect this element and change position my ceiling. This is my ceiling. Uh, at this time, I disconnect this because uh, I won't see everything but this object cover um, what is uh, in this place, okay? You know. So I disconnect this element, then I will, of course, connect again. So I add a new shape 3D. And now I create uh, this element, this element, it, I name it hmm, platform, main platform, okay? I create now this element, this, okay? Of course, this is shape uh, cylinder, cylinder, I add name platform main connect element and my parameters my friends this is 1.78 radius height uh, I have 0 0.6 base subdivision 100 height subdivision maybe five of course check on bottom and top in this place and uh, change position and now we add new node my friends uh, we need to create this bevel okay this bevel of course i use my friends bender and in Bender, my friends, I set par uh, Bender tape, of course, Tupper, Tupper. And my parameters, uh, of course, my parameters is amount 0 0.37, 0 0.37, height uh, 0 0.37, uh, axis of course y center my friends 2 
my friend center to and now we set range in my case is minimum 0 0.92 and maximum 1 this is my this is my main platform okay i change position something like this maybe at this time i change in material uh, specular exponent specular maybe intensity maybe intensity smaller uh, smaller then of course we add new shader in the next chapter we of course add new shader but now i change intensity to zero because i see more detail at this time okay now i add new element my friends remember save as your scene now i add new element new element element shape 3d it will be second platform maybe i add the name second platform okay platform second second platform now we create this element look at this this element exactly this okay this this is my second platform okay connect this with this of course shape cylinder and my parameters my friends uh, reduce to 0.25 height 0 0.3 subdivision base subdivision of course 100 and in this hay subdivision maybe 5 change position of course bottom and top <laughs> okay uh, oh sorry height of course uh, 0.3 so Okay, this is my second platform. I change position, maybe something like this. And uh, now I add next element, next element, this glow object. This element, this is this element. Now we create this element. Okay, so next shape. shape 3d it will be my uh, i add name it will be glow glow ring this is my work name glow ring of course we connect this element this with this i'm oh, sorry glow ring it will be shape 3d cylinder glow ring okay and this object has parameters my friends radius 1.726 height very small uh, value exactly 0 0.01 uh, base subdivision I have 150 and height subdivision maybe 5 okay change position and now look at this this element is very thin how to create this element how to create how to create this element I use, of course, my friend, Bender. Bender, of course, Tupper. And my, para you know, maybe we add light to scene. Uh, so, uh, because we will see more detail. So, add new Merge 3D, my friends. Merge 3D. Sorry new merge 3d and in this merge we add point light okay point light 
this is only work lights then we add new lights but but at this time this light uh, is very important okay because we see more detail okay uh, we create this glow object glow ring sorry glow ring so bender maybe this light is too strong okay this is okay this light is only work okay then we add new light mm, you see is difference very big difference okay bender change parameters tupper amount my friends mm, 0 0.15 0 0.15 axis y center my friends two and range 0 0.856 and thanks to this i have this element this very thin element okay maybe i change uh, at, uh, at this moment specular maybe color sorry of course then we add a new material to this element this is my this glow object okay is uh, too big so i change parameters uh, it's okay it's okay my friends okay now we add new element maybe my friends we have this we have second platform main platform glow object and now we add this screen this screen okay so now we add new element of course and uh, i think good solution is close this element to underlay of course this underlay and this is my 3D construction. This is my 3D studio. Name 3D, 3D studio, 3D studio. And uh, I change color this underlay maybe, maybe, maybe yellow, okay? I think it's very good solution to close, to underlay this construction, okay? Now we create this element, this green, uh, this uh, screen this screen this is this object you see this is my very big screen so shape 3d of course shape 3d name big screen one for example big screen one because maybe we add second screen so big screen one and my screen parameters reduce uh, of course uh, cylinder reduce 11 height my friends uh, in my original uh, is four four base subdivision of course 100 and high subdivision 5 of course this is my screen i change position this screen maybe something like this and at this time i change my friends in material opacity okay and color then of course we add new shader remember then we add new shader this is only uh, work parameters only work parameters okay so um, maybe we change parameters look at it my uh, scene i my my um, my screen is uh, angle i have 160 okay so we change parameters angle in screen 160 this is front my scene camera if i connect camera look if i, I connect camera camera is in this place 
okay camera is from from this this is from my scene so I connect camera then we add camera so we have this maybe I connect ceiling again mm, maybe it's, maybe something like this and I think I change position my screen maybe it's okay okay something like this so now we add a new element but this screen we close to underlay underlay because in the next chapter in this underlay we add a new element and of course I add name screen screens and change color maybe maybe blue okay this is my friend uh, my construction my construction now we add next element look at this this element this element my friends this is this red element of course I uh, modify a little this element how I create this element my friends mm. The first we create shape, shape 3D and uh, it will be cube, cube my friends. In transform we disconnect this option and set in X position maybe 15, maybe 30, okay maybe 30 at this time and we need more subdivision, maybe 100, okay? Subdivision, so I have X position 30, control subdivision 100. Then I add bender, now we add bender, and we change uh, axis to X, and change amount to one, okay? Thanks to this, I achieve this ring. I achieved this ring so now we adjust uh, size so I connect this element to my merge 3d uh, of course we need to change scale so go to shape transform maybe 50 oh 150 oh no 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 maybe 80. okay maybe 80 change position to Y and look at this this is important if I change rotation uh, Y axis I have problem okay it not it not works correctly so we need add to new node of course transform 3d my friends transform 3d thanks to this if I change Y position in transform 3D, we have this easy animation, okay? This is this element, my friends, okay? But look at this, I add uh, next node, um, next trick, because I have one, two, three ring. How to create this free ring? Of course, rings. Of course, we use duplicate 3D duplicate 3d my friends and uh, maybe three copies okay three copies this is this element and in scale change position maybe this is okay and you know what you want to achieve you may uh, a little uh, experiment with these parameters maybe in rotation maybe something like this and if I add a um, keyframe my friends in frame one look at this this is my uh, maybe no uh, animation we create in a uh, third episode this is all I think so we have floor ceiling this ceiling is maybe something like this is better Maybe I add glass, I, mm, glass is here. 
Okay, we have screen, we have ceiling, we have platform, we have floor, we have these uh, rings. Maybe I close this element to rings, the two underlay. And my friends, uh, this is all in this tutorial. In this tutorial, rings, rings. And uh, in the next, maybe I change color to red. Red, maybe maybe olive okay and uh, it's all in this tutorial we have this 3d construction okay in the next chapter i will show you how to create shader we of course attach uh, we of course add shader to geometry and uh, then we of course add um, animation and create render so thank you very much for watching i will be glad if you leave a comment uh, I would be glad if, if you uh, subscribe my channel and maybe support my channel development. Of course, I invite you to my Patreon. Uh, so see you in the next tutorial.